All right, let's get started. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode two of the Fight Cast, brought to you by myself, Esan Khan, and my co-host. Nagi, what's going on, people? We're here, we're here, we're here. The Fight Cast is back, episode two, baby. And the Fight Cast is brought to you by Fighter. Fighter is a brand new clothing brand for boxers, for fighters, by fighters. So make sure that you get your merch as soon as possible using the links below. So let's get into it. Nagi, yes. episode two of the fight cast. First of all, mm-hmm. episode one last week was your first ever podcast ever. How did that go? What was the feedback like? How did you find things? How's life? You're in a suit and a bow tie now. So this is excellent. <laughs> you see the improvement okay, already. Okay, so basically, um, I had to switch up. I had to switch up the, the way I was looking, man. I got a little <laughs> bit of feedback from close people to me as well. You know who you are. You look like a bum star. You're there. Your T-shirt looks funny. Red tear, tear. I was like, you know what? I'm going to switch it up. And you know what? I'm going to stunt on your bitches. You know what I'm saying? So this is my little look. Um, like my boy, Anis, who you know very well. He goes, go in with the bow tie. Give it the Nation of Islam look. So this is the Nation of Islam look. That's what I'm going for. I think it looks right. presentable enough. What do you reckon? Brother Nagi from the Nation of Islam. Nice exactly. to have you. Uh, I do miss I do miss the bum Nagi that just showed up on the screen last week. <laughs> to be honest, even when I saw you, I was like, "Does this guy not know <laughs> he's going out to the world right now?" But, uh, I had no clue. I was just there. I was me in it. I was fresh, bro. I was fresh. So you were the opposite of fresh. Different. You were you were dying with the rosa, man. You could tell you were was, dying. Was, you were struggling. It was murder. It was murder. But, but we're here, though, isn't it? We're here. We're here, though, man. Alhamdulillah. Khair. All right, Alhamdulillah. let's get into this now, man. Um, so. This week in boxing, I guess it's been a bit of a, I guess in some ways it's been a bit of a slow week in the sense of there's not been too much going on. There's not like multiple things to really discuss and talk about that, I guess, mm-hmm. interests us. Um, however, there was the amazing, incredible fight this weekend. And I don't mm-hmm. say that lightly because a lot of heavyweight boxing in recent times, I would say the last 12 months, has been a lot of boring fights i'm afraid to say mm-hmm. and yep. you know we get really hyped up at all of these heavyweights and then it's just a bit of an anti-climax man it's it's, it's just i mean even with tyson fury his his problem is that he was too good <laughs> against like chisora and dillian white and yep. they were just like not competitive fights um i guess aj Usyk was probably the most interesting fight in the last 12 months because um you know, we were hoping for AJ to come back and he didn't really come back. And Usyk went, you know, did his thing, which was great. The other fight, I can't remember who it is now, but uh, who was whoever Chisora fought before Fury. But I guess that would have been probably more than um, more than 12 months ago now. That was a so, while ago. So, so I think, I think personally, Joe Joyce versus Big Bang Gilet Zhang mm-hmm. has to be like at least so far fight of the year. At least yeah, so no, far, 100%. I think so too. How did you? So uh, how did you find things, Nagi? Bro, first things first. I knew a little bit about Zile Zhang. I didn't know too much about him, bro. But I find him hilarious because I saw a little clip of him on Instagram, and he's like, he's just talking his thing, and he goes, "Oh, he can hardly speak English, by the way." But what they did teach him was, "Chat shit, get Zhang." Yeah, chat shit, get Zhang. And I just thought that was very funny, very relevant because it's like a a London like um slang that we use and then the fact that he said chat shit get zang and guess what he did man came out and zanged our you bro he zanged him bro bop, bop, bop. 500 punches in in that eye bro bop, bop, bop. I found it so interesting that fight man because um it was it was like it was like a lot of I mean I'm kind of tending to see this type of tendency now where it's like the other fight is completely written off if it's not a British fighter and to be mm-hmm. fair to be fair after we saw Joe Joyce against Scott Parker you mm-hmm. kind of think all right this guy's indestructible because Scott Parker was giving Joe Joyce licks Joseph Parker Joseph Parker bloody hell, Scott yeah. Parker I'm thinking about the footballer Joseph so Parker. <laughs> yeah, Joseph, there you go. Joseph Joe Parker, Parker was giving mm. Joe Joyce licks, like absolute mm. licks. And he's not a small yeah. man by any means, Joseph Parker. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
No, so back. it really did go to show the levels. I mean, it was another one of those fights where I came out of it thinking, whoa, like this opens everything up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it opens everything up. Mm-hmm. And I've been watching a lot of the punditry and a lot of the analysis from, from uh, you know, a lot of the experts and particular people that I would listen to and, and I would call experts. You know, people like Peter Fury, for example, like listening to what they uh-huh. have to say. People like yeah, Sam yeah. Jones, you know, who's obviously mm-hmm. a former manager of Joe Joyce and a good friend of his. And, you know, yeah. these type of people, like you kind of listen to them. And it's really interesting to hear what they have to say, which is kind of why I am a was a bit reluctant to say that this is what ha- has happened in terms of mm-hmm. I felt like the heavyweight division opened up. But then actually yeah. after listening to them, I'm thinking, has it opened up or was it a bad night or... You know what I mean? Like, what what was the thing? And obviously, we'll go into it in a bit more. But yeah, what was your take on it? I think first things first, like Joe Joyce against Joseph Parker, Joe versus Joe. Joseph Parker has been like a gatekeeper for the heavyweight division for a while, right? Yeah, you he's that guy it, that you throw in. Yeah, for sure, you he's a guy that you, you, you kind of need, need to fight him on the route. Him. You need to fight him on the way. Former world champion, you need to fight him on the way. And beating him gets you a lot of credibility. Dylan White mm. beat him. Obviously, um, Joe Joyce beat him afterwards. AJ beat him, won a title off him as well because he was a world champion when AJ mm-hmm. fought him. So he is... Chisora's fought him, I think, once or twice as well. So he is a gatekeeper of the sorts of the heavyweight division. So Joe Joyce beating him looks good. However, one thing we need to remember is Joe Joyce beating these guys and often, again, the juggernaut, yeah? You've got to give him props, bruv. He's got a hell of a chin. Mm. He takes licks, bro. He takes licks. He warms up later on into fights, but he takes a lot of licks. But the thing is, bro, chin is only can only last so long. Do you know what I mean? And the more sort of beats you take and you take and you take, it's not something you can rely upon in terms of leaving behind certain aspects of your boxing skills. Yeah? Which is what I think he's kind of relied on along the way. Well, you mean that he's basically gone in there thinking, I don't really need to practice too much defense work because mm-hmm. if man hits me, I'll take it. Exactly. And that, that's what he's done in every fight I've seen him in so far. Yeah. Just walking in straight lines, taking shots, but, 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 but you can get through by because he's got a fucking hell of a chin on him, bro. He's got a hell of a chin. However, Zilla Zhang, he spotted the weakness. And from that southpaw stance, that left hand, boom, boom. Boom, he's just catching him in the eye whenever he wants Ace. Whenever he wanted, he's catching him in his eye. So he's noticed he started swelling. He's just carried on. He's just carried on. Accurate punches to the eye. And we all know what happened there. Six round yeah. stoppage. It was mad. It was a mad fight, to be fair. Because, mm. I, I mean, to, first of all, first of all, yeah. When was the last time you saw a Chinese boxer or a Chinese heavyweight? It's true. I can't true. name one. I can't name another one, okay? He just reminds but, me of Yao Ming, bro. The basketball player. Bro, the way that he was boxing, you could tell that man is a Chinese boxer, innit? You know mm. what I mean? It's just like, just his style. Was just, it, was, it was a different type of style, isn't it? Mm. And it's interesting when you look at, I mean, this, there's like videos on TikTok and social media and stuff of like, you know, what Filipino fighters look like and, you know, mm. what American fighters look like and how British fighters fight and stuff like that. And yeah, yeah, you could yeah. see, you could see the, the, that kind of Chinese boxing uh, aspect from from Jule Zhang, and it's just interesting to see the mm-hmm. different styles, right? But yeah, what yeah. I found was interesting was um, he, some. I think it was Tunde Ajay said mm-hmm. he does have a good chin. He was like Joe Joyce does have a good chin. Yeah, he wasn't getting hit on the chin. He was getting hit on the eye. He's getting hit in the eye. You know I what I'm saying? In, punches, bro, in the eye, yeah, exactly. And, and like you're saying, he was like, he was like, he was like people. People are thinking of talking about his chin. And he's talking about his chin. And even he said beforehand, like, everyone's got a plan until they punch me in the face and I keep coming back. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Isn't it? Did you hear that? Yeah, That's yeah. What, that was like yeah, his, yeah. his quote of the week, right? His like, motto, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a good quote, to, to be fight. fair. But I remember when I heard that, I thought this. I thought to myself, like, why do you want to be that guy that does actually take the licks, isn't it? Like, you, you don't shouldn't... want to take licks. That's not boxing. Yeah, you're... that's not boxing. It's the... the whole point of boxing is what? To hit? And mm-hmm. not get hit. Not get hit, exactly, yeah. It's not hit and then get hit, but take it and then keep hitting back. Mm-hmm. It's to hit yeah, yeah. and not get hit. And I think yeah. I think it was really interesting. I mean, there's this honestly, there's so much we can talk about in this fight, right? Okay. Um mm. one of the aspects that, that comes to mind is like 
how Joe Joyce had to switch his style up in straight away in the second round. You know what yeah. I mean? Did you notice that he had to switch up straight away? And it's he got great to so see. Much in the first round. But it was so good to see that. To be fair, man, because it was like, all right, cool. Coach has clocked on science wrong. Coach has told the fighter. Fighter's taking yeah, yeah. it on board. Fighter's mm-hmm. now in the ring with a different style based on the fight. Yeah, like, it was yeah. it was good to see. And again, it's like we've seen Tyson Fury. He doesn't need any coaching. Man just goes in, does his thing, pop, pop, pop. He knows what to he do. He wins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't need to be yeah, coached. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. AJ just asks too many questions and does nothing really in relation to what he's being told to do. Right. Yeah. And that's frustrating. And then mm-hmm. you've got like, I don't know, like Dillian Y. I feel he's kind of like there's there's these fighters and you've got like a Dillian White who in my opinion is like very strong but you know he's a bit more of a bruiser where he just wants to go kata, kata, you know what I mean and yeah, 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 yeah. and we saw what he did when he came in south in the first round against Fury and then that quickly changed but so, so anyway uh, my point the is the poorest thing I've ever seen ever. yeah my point <laughs> like I said Fury just came in south in the second round like he didn't exactly, practice that yeah, yeah. he doesn't need to uh, practice that <laughs> exactly exactly so um, it was really good to see that I mean that was one thing that mm-hmm. was really good to see um but yeah, just going back to to Zhile Zhang, man, like pff, chat shit get Zhanged, man, Zhang them out because he just it was so much efficiency. There's so much efficiency in his game. And I saw that he's very good at like rolling the shots. I don't know if you noticed, but he was just like rolling the shots. So anytime like Joe Joe Joe's the putt, he was just rolling them off. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So they weren't yeah, even yeah. and and so what what Joe Joyce came in to the second round was was a lot like you were saying I don't know if you said this on last week's podcast or if we were speaking about on the phone but what you yeah. were saying was for counter punch you need to throw multiple shots yeah right? yeah yeah more than one yeah first yeah first round he wasn't one. doing that and then obviously his face got cut open straight away mm. second round he you could see he was doing that he was like pa 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 but Zhang was just taking it and he was just like rolling with it. Like he was just chilling. Zhang's smooth. And then every now and again, he was just like bang. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bang with the left. Bang with the left. Literally. He must have thrown like maybe, I don't know, like five, six punches per round to the eye. But it was mm. accurate, powerful bro. as anything and mm-hmm. accurate as anything. Exactly, yeah. And so his chin wasn't tested. His eye was tested and his eye failed. It fa- of course it's going to fail you, man. Fair play to Joe Joyce though for because uh, his corner was like, you're right, mate. And he was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's a man, isn't it? No, he's not a pussy, isn't it? He got like, he got beaten because of his eye, isn't it? Do you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah. He's he's a man, bro. Like he didn't Perfect want the fight to stop. He couldn't see shit. Like his team should have stopped it, man. His team should have stopped him. Bad for him. His team should have had mercy on him, man. But <laughs> what do you do in that situation, bro? Like I was looking at the man's eye, like fuck, like that mm. must hurt, bro. Like exactly, bro. you're lucky was... you're getting paid. Swollen shut. <laughs> swollen shut is yeah, swollen like literally was a slip for his eye. That's it. It's mad, bro. Yeah, see, I mean, that was one of those fights where I did think to myself, I was like, this is the side of boxing that you know, like this is the side of boxing that is hard for people to mm-hmm. get into. You know what I mean? Like, if you're not a boxing yeah, fan, yeah, 100%, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. will make it difficult for you. You know what I'm it's saying? Because you're gonna my brutal, yeah. Like, Look mm. at the guy's face, you know, like he could have permanent damage, you know, in his eye for the, you know, all these types of, and his team aren't stopping it. And he's saying, Yes, I'm okay. When clearly he's just saying that because he's a warrior and he just does not want exactly. to say, he just wants to No, stay he doesn't want to quit, yeah, exactly. especially mm-hmm. with what happened yeah. with Dubois. Well, obviously, he, mm-hmm. he he made Dubois quit, and that was like a you know, very funny that thing. Was, I think, I think that was eye socket as well. That was I, yeah, I think he broke his, bone, his yeah. eye socket or something like that. Good bone, and luckily, alhamdulillah, he Joe Joyce didn't have any fractures. In his, uh, yeah, it was crazy. It was just swelling like, or something, um, wasn't it? It was just all swelling, but it was, bro. I don't know, man. I think Zhang, Zhang's must have fought a lot of orthodox fighters, as you do, yeah. yeah he as would a, do. as a, um, a southpaw, oh, it looked like Joe Joyce didn't know how to fight a southpaw, bro. To be honest, because what he's doing is, he's always in the line of that left hand. So that straight left, he's not moving his head off center. You understand? Yeah, and he's basically walking into it. Yeah, yeah. So what you want to do is, what you want to do is, you want your your outside foot. Yeah. So your left foot needs to be outside their left foot, uh, their right foot. Sorry. Yeah. So you need to be coming off center for you to be throwing your straight. You understand? But rather than that, his foot's on the inside of it. So when he's walking straight in and trying to get him with a straight, his head's right in the middle and he's throwing it here. Do you understand? Rather than being. You cut yeah, out so... yeah, I can hear you now. Pardon? You cut out for a second, but I can hear you now. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. So what, what he's not doing is he's walking in straight and he's coming in straight and he's trying to jab straight and he's trying to throw it across his hair. What he really needs to be doing is he needs to be coming out off centre. If his left foot is outside of Zhang's um, right foot, he can come off centre and catch him with a straight like this. Your head's off centre, do you understand? So you're not walking straight into it. You're coming off the So you're on the outside. Of yeah. Him. So That's Zhang straight. Zhang's jab is gone. Zhang's left cross is gone. The only thing exactly. that Zhang would have left is like if he can catch him with a hook a or something. Last yeah, second. Exactly. It's a hook. Yeah. Exactly. So this is where he needed to be there, mm. rather than just walking straight into it. Bang, 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 bang. So it, it, so, so, so Joe Joyce should have been moving around side to side a lot more. You exactly. know what I'm saying? And getting angles. Head movement, the... obviously, uh... but also he just needs he just needs to be outside that foot. So as as a as an orthodox, you need to be your outside foot. So your lead leg needs to be outside of their trailing. No, their lead leg, which mm. is their right. Do you understand? So if you're outside of that, that's how you can get off center. Then you can come with your yeah, left foot. Yeah, because there's less distance then for your for your right hand and their head, and then there's mm -hmm. more distance for their left hand and your face. Exactly, exactly. So if you catch him with a, a straight right. Then you can step even step forward and come in with a left hook, and again you're you're outside of his sort of flipping range. It's 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 a technical thing, bro, and it's something that I I would love to have seen Joe Joyce do. Do you, do you know what I mean? But that's the thing with fighting southpaws, bro. It's hard. How is Joe Joyce gonna find an adequate sparring partner? Bro, you can't. You're gonna find a Chinese six foot seven Chinese dude, bro. I mean, it doesn't need to be so Chinese, in it, but. No, yeah, I'm, like a, a twenty you know I mean? stone, six foot nine, uh, Southpaw. Who are you gonna bring in, Tyson Fury? Oh, he's not even Southpaw, though, is he? But he can fight Southpaw very well. But yeah, like who who can you bring in? There's no one really. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's hard. That's the thing with being Southpaw. You've got so much of an advantage of everyone else. So much of an advantage of everyone else. Yeah, it's interesting though because it's not. Yeah. Like when you look back on it, there's obviously a lot, lot fewer Southpaw champions, isn't it? But maybe yeah, that's yeah. Just, there's fewer Southpaws in general. But mm -hmm. no, that's interesting, and and yeah, that that's pretty much been uh, what the the analysis has been like from from most of the, the the pundits, which is basically Joe Joyce wasn't moving his head, and he wasn't um, he wasn't using his feet in the right ways, and a lot of people were quite interested, well, quite surprised by that because obviously. Joe Joyce has a back uh, background in kickboxing, so you'd expect him to like be quite light on his feet and quite nimble on his I didn't feet. Know he was a kickboxer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why he does all mm. these like spinning kicks and stuff. Like, I've not seen him do his like spinning kicks and stuff. Nah, I haven't actually. Have you not seen him, bro? Shit, this okay. guy's like flipping ninety so and six foot seven. He does mad tornado yeah. kicks and stuff, man. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, man. Yeah. I don't see. Okay, man. So, uh, so yeah, you'd expect him anyway. You'd expect him to to be a bit better on his feet. You know what I mean? Like you'd expect mm -hmm. him to be a bit more nimble. And I don't know, man. It's just I find it very interesting, man. When when I see these fighters fight, uh, because you don't know. Like obviously, they have to go in with the bravado. They can't say like, "Oh, this is wrong" or "That's wrong," or anything like that. And and one of the things yeah. that Sam Jones was saying was, um, he was like, "That wasn't Joe Joyce." He was like, "That performance mm -hmm. was not was not." what i expected you know like he's like first of all he came in lighter i think he came in what two stones lighter or a stone lighter than his previous Very fight interesting. yeah yeah and so i think the last uh performance he had it this way was also quite bad um so it was one of those things where it was like why was he lighter why would you mm. come in lighter than a 20 stone man you know what i mean like why would you exactly. drop weight yeah, yeah. for mm -hmm. a man that big um yeah possibly maybe to make him be like able to move quicker and you know get his feet in the right place, but then then he didn't do that. So you know, if you're, not, you're not that a mover. Was the reason. You exactly, I mean? you're coming in lighter. But if you're if you if you're a mover, if that's how you box, <clears throat> then obviously it's going to help you. If that's mm. not in your normal repertoire mm. of boxing, is to be light on your feet and move around. How are you going to be? You know, just being lighter it just goes in your disfavor in that sense. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and obviously that that's what happened. So yeah, I mean it was a bit it was a bit of a strange one because. I think everyone expected Joe Joyce to just run through Gilles Zhang, like, including me, to be fair. Even me, who, him, yeah, you know, I'm quite reserved in my predictions in that sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? But I was like, nah, bro. Like, obviously, like, we've seen Joe Joyce. Man could take a punch, man could punch, yeah, exactly. you know what I mean? Like, he well. walked through. I was like, Gilles Zhang is 39. What does he want to do? Like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? All this stuff, man. And I was just like, this is, this is, you know, I feel sorry for. Uh, you know, actually, going on to that, 
that mm. was something that I was thinking the whole of last week. I was like, I feel sorry for Joe Joyce, man, because mm. it doesn't seem like he wanted to be there the whole week. And to be honest yeah. with you, like even Dev Sani, who's the BT Sport like main boxing presenter and host now, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. even even he said in a in a question to to Joe Joyce, he was like, he was like, what did he say? He was like. He's like, why why are you taking this fight? Like, why do you have to always go the hard way? You know what I mean? Yeah, and Joe Joyce is like, I don't know, like pff, that's just who they put in front of me. And and then I was thinking about it, I was like, it's you know, it's like it's peak, isn't it? Like he why like why can't he get a fight with Tyson Fury now? You know what I mean? Like, why can't yeah, he? Like when you think about it, Frank mm-hmm. Warren's fighter, Frank Warren's fighter. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Joe Joyce would take 10%. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? He would happily take yeah. 10%. Because he's just a fighting man. Like, he's a fighting man. Like, when I Probably, yeah, when yeah. I saw him, I was like, that's a throwback fighter. Because this mm-hmm. is a man who took any fight, like, took whatever fight was put in front of him, showed yeah. up. He didn't want to quit. Like, even though the doctor mm-hmm. gave him two opportunities to, like, get it wrong, bro. Like, you know what I mean? How many fingers am I holding? Yeah, up? Yeah. Three. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, he could have said that, yeah? Like, he didn't. Uh-huh. Twice he didn't do that. His team mm-hmm. asked him how you said, I'm fine. Yeah? yeah and yeah. he switched it up. He was just he was trying, bro. He was trying the whole mm-hmm. fight. Like, he wasn't backing down. Like that for me is like a throwback fighter, and yeah, um, yeah, I just felt a bit bad for him this this week because I was just like, why can't he get one of the main fights? You know what I mean? Like, why does he have to go for Gilles Zhang? And this is not disrespect to Gilles Zhang at all. Obviously, we've just been praising how excellently he he fought, right? Mm-hmm. But my point is this, right? Is like Gilles Zhang is almost like an Otto Wallen in the sense of like he's dangerous, he's fucking he's big, yeah, he can hurt you. He can cause mm-hmm. you damage, and he's not going to put that much, that many bums on seats. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're not, not going to get, get paid, paid. for fighting him either. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to get paid exactly. that much. Your ranking's mm-hmm. not going to boost. Like this, there's almost mm-hmm. like, it, what is this? Like a tickover fight? And yeah. if that's a tickover fight, brother. Like you're not going to survive more than a couple of years taking these type of tickover fights. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you're yeah, gonna yeah. Get, your face is going to get mashed up. Your brain's going to get mashed up if you're fighting people like this all the time. You know? Mm-hmm. You, you know? You know what I'm saying? And like. Like AJ had Franklin, and mm. look at the size difference, bro. <laughs> like exactly, you look at the size difference, bro. Like there's a massive size difference. So f- for that to be like a tick over fight, fair enough, cool. Mm-hmm. That's a good tick over fight. You should have done better. Yeah. We spoke about this last week, but yeah, still, yeah. you know, for for Joe Joyce, I was like, it's a bit peak, man, because it's just like, yeah, oh, what? So he can he can take a punch. So let's just throw him in with the biggest flipping puncher that. There is in the oh, world China's ever seen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Strongest bro, punching China man in the world, bro. bro. There's like 1.4 billion Chinese people or something, and he's the strongest one, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's not a joke. Is. When you think about percentages, it's a madness, bro. Do you yeah. know what I mean? It's a madness. So he's got up against him. He's lost, bro. To be honest, Jin Zhang, what a performance, bro. He knew exactly what he was doing. And the thing was, I heard. Did you watch a Peter Fury talking about it? Yeah, yeah. So did you see what Peter Fury like? What he mentioned was he goes he goes Joe Joyce's most lethal weapon is his right is his um is his jab. He was calling it like a a lightning bolt or something. He like referred to it in like a a way or like a spear rod or something like boom like because he goes when they used to, he used to spar with Huey yeah mm. Huey Fury and what Zhang was able to do obviously when you're fighting a southpaw both your jabbing hands are right next to each other yeah because their lead hand and your lead hand mm-hmm. are out in it they'll so he goes what, what Zhang was able to do was nullify his jab really well so he just nullified his jab and then Joe Joyce just stopped throwing the jab mm, it's true I didn't really see it yeah he stopped throwing the jab mm. and he's throwing the jab he's just he's like pulling the jab so he's just trying to move his hand out he's not actually throwing that boom boom that jab do you understand yeah that, see this thing he knows how to fight these kind of fighters. It's obvious. He knew exactly how to beat Joe Joyce, bro. He didn't struggle once in the fight. You know how he beat Joe Joyce? How did he beat him? With Chinese power! <laughs> <laughs> China, bro. You know when you're saying that? I got, bro, oh, I literally, I was bro. watching the fight. I got so happy, bro, when I heard yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Chinese power! I was like, yeah, yes! Dude. Chinese power, bro! Yes. That's what we need. Bro. That's Donald what we Trump need. was switching, bro. <laughs> bro, that's what we need, man. We need yeah. people like Zhile Zhang to come in yeah. and be like Chinese power. I do this for the Chinese news. people. Yeah, I take. And exactly. what did he say? What did he say? It was like, would you take Joe Joyce in the re- rematch? 
yeah, I take him, I take him. It's like, where? Here or China? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't give a shit, ah. bro. I was just like, yeah, that's I'm the best moment now. of his career. Yeah, Zilly <laughs> Zag, bro, he's the man, bro. He's, he's the, the man. man. He's actually the man. He's killing it. No, no. Um... I want them to have a rematch. Obviously, I want like Joe Joyce to win the rematch. Hopefully, do you know what I mean? Did you but see if they have a rematch? It'll be very interesting. Did you see at the end of the fight? <laughs> they were like, are you going to take a rematch, Joe? He's like. Yeah, maybe, possibly. I need to see like who else there is, and then you know, exactly. fight someone else. And he said it straight. He's like, I don't think I could like take two of these in a row. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, bro. And fair, no, and fair play. I'm not. That's not criticism. That's just Nothing, that's just what bro. he said. You know what I mean? That's a beating, just, like... bro. Took a beating, bro. It's deep, man. Why would you want to take that again? Especially no, if you ain't like tactics wise weren't right. Maybe technique wise, you'd have to work on a lot to stay away from that right hand, you know. Um, his mum is ruthless, though. Left, sorry. Huh? Do his mum is ruthless. She was like, Yo, bruv, Dubois, he stayed in for longer. Why didn't they let my son stay in for longer, bruv? And I'm just looking at Joe Joe's face, bruv. Oh, Joe's like, Shh, bruv, chill out, chill out, chill out. Mumsy don't care. <laughs> Mumsy's by that paper. Mum's like, Nah, bruv, Joe could go all the way, bruv. Yeah, yeah, I want my son to die in the ring. She's the opposite of what you'd expect, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you should have let him die in there. Yeah, let him die in there. If you don't win, don't come home, Joe. Joe's on the streets, bro. Do you know what I mean? One hundred percent Pakistani, she's, bro. She's not. She's bad from his She's Pakistani. She's Pakistani. Yeah, she got the. I, I seen it in her, bro. She's I like Afghan. That's who she is, bro. She's like Afghan mom, isn't it? Yeah, if you don't win, better don't bother coming. go to the war. And if you come back, you've done it wrong. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Oh uh, yep, yeah, I know exactly what you mean, bro. Fuck you know. Yeah. So, what do you think of the build up? What do you think of the build up? Okay, let's talk about the um, let's talk about the fight then. Okay, so not not the actual fight itself, but like the build up and the, mm. like things afterwards, like that that whole journey of this fight. Then, how did you find things? Did you enjoy it? Were you you know were you in, were you enthused by it? Were you engaged by it? Bro, to be honest, I wasn't enthused by it. Um, I think funny mad thing is. And this is, again, no disrespect to Joe Joyce. Zilla Zhang don't speak English and still I'm more captivated by him than I am by Joe Joyce. I'm more interested in what he has to say than Joe, like Joe Joyce. I don't know, he's just, he's a quiet dude, isn't he? He's not like a big personality. It's not his fault. Some people aren't like that, do you understand? Yeah. Like, I can't connect with him very well. And I don't know about the rest of the British public. I know the media love him. Media does like him, innit? Because obviously he's a nice guy and he's a hard worker and he's a good fighter and he takes licks and he's 14 and 0, 14 knockouts before this fight. I mm. think 14 and 0. Now he's 14 and 1. But I just can't connect with the guy very well, bro. I'm not sure about you. Yeah, to be honest with you, one of the absolute worst, one of the most horrendous face to faces I've ever seen in my life was Dubois versus Joyce. Yeah. And that was like two people who have, a, I don't want to sound too, bro, you know, what? I listened back to last week's episode. I was like, bro, I must sound like it's the biggest, like evil guy, bro. The way that I talk about, you know, some things, but I'm just, yeah, yeah. I just speak my mind and I just say the thoughts that are in my mind. Yeah. And mm. bro, that was the worst face off. Yeah. It was like two people who just like, I don't know, like. They barely know words in it. Like they barely know like things to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, in essence, like they're very terrible communicators. Both of them are like horrible at talking. Yeah, they like they're not. Communicate with these. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No, no. I'll, I'll get into that. I'll get to mm. Neither one of those have ever probably needed to talk much in their life. <laughs> exactly. Communicate much in their mm. life. It's all about working hard building the body and destroying mm. their opponent. You know what I mean? Like they don't need to talk that much. It's only because they're in this, you know, like this talk now, professional boxing, world champion boxers, that they have to do these things. But uh -huh. obviously they need to work on these things because boxing for me, boxing for me, and if, it, if there's any boxers listening to this, reach out to me because like this is something that I definitely want to help people with, which is boxing for me is all about the story leading up to the fight. Mm -hmm. More than the fight itself in some some ways. You know what I mean? Like, Two yeah. people fight in the ring without any context and okay, we can watch it for what it is, you know, in terms of like boxing uh, skills and, and fighting skills and whatever. But mm -hmm. there's so much of the story that is underlying that fight 
that mm-hmm. drives the passion. You know what I mean? Like, for example, Franklin versus AJ, right? Just to go back to that. If, if someone just watched mm-hmm. that fight for the first time, you know, like no one's seen AJ before, no one's seen Franklin before or anything like that, you'd watch that fight and be like, oh, okay, the, the small guy is the better fight than the big guy, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. You wouldn't think mm-hmm. too much about it. And then, you know, obviously, uh, as the fight progresses, you see how he wears down Franklin, blah, 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 blah. Cool, no worries. But from the start of the fight to the end of the fight, 99% of the world is backing AJ. They're putting their energy into one fighter. You know what I mean? We want this fighter to win. You know, they're putting the, the channel and the energy into that person. And, you know, mm-hmm. like you're you're thinking about all the repercussions. You're thinking about all the things that were said in the build up in the week coming coming up to it, you know, all the drama, all the little things that were happening, you're thinking about it. Now, you know, now in the fight that's happening, this is yeah. where it'll be decided who was right, who was wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who's chatting shit, who wasn't, who's better, who's not. And so, yeah. you know, you can't just have a fight in isolation and that's it. Like expect for the t- tickets to be sold and people to be engaged by it and any- anything like that. Like you need to build the story up and Obviously, with Joe Joyce, Daniel Dubar, they were completely whack. And then Daniel Dubar, like, quit. And it was just like, what is going on? Great for mm-hmm. Joe Joyce. Obviously, he went on uh, to bigger things from that. You know, that's when he had the Joseph Parker fight. Obviously, he's now had Jule Zhang. Mm-hmm. Didn't go his way. But, yeah, you're right, man. Jule Zhang, he did, he did a good job, man, in, um, in, in, in the build-up. One thing I liked about Joe Joyce is the fact that I think this week um, they he himself or maybe bt sport or maybe someone in the in the team in mm-hmm. essence i think made him realize that look you can't talk properly bro like you're not that good at talking because i saw that they were doing like some banter around it you know what i mean okay the... uh, i think there was one video where it was like joe joyce goes in like on a deep rant you know what i mean it was something like that like you know they, they're trying to make it out like he has some mad speech uh-huh. And then he's basically just like, yeah, basically, if I see you in the ring, Gile, I'm gonna knock you out. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, yeah, it yeah. was like he he did that in a kind of like joking type of way, like terrible, yeah, himself, yeah, yeah, like, you know like, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. So as long as they've clocked on that, all right, cool. My man does it. He's not a talker, so let's just play on that. You know, let's just exactly, yeah, yeah. you know. So that's fair enough, and that's good. I like that. Mm-hmm. No, no, it makes sense. Um, it makes sense to do that because. You can't force it out of people, innit, bro? He's 36, 37 years old. How are you going to make him... You can't give him uh, extrovert, mad, crazy personality now. Mm. You understand? Like, it don't work like that. So the fact that they're playing on it, you're just kind of smart, innit? You're just making the best of what you've got and kind of making it a bit ironic. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, I think that's kind of smart. No, but yeah, he's, he's kind of... Um, build up was boring, bro. Oh, that was boring to be honest. Um, Looks boring. BT Sports like he's... guy, holler me. I'm telling you, mm-hmm. holler me. I'll help you to like build up these fighters, man. I'm gonna start working with uh, a couple of fighters that that I know, uh, and just trying to help them with some stuff and use them as like case studies for for what I'm uh, trying to do, which is like build these stories for these fighters because uh, mm-hmm. it's very much needed. But we've we've got about five minutes left, so. Yeah. Let's talk about then the repercussions of this fight, Nagi. In these last mm-hmm. five minutes, let's talk about um, where Joe Joyce is going from here, where Jilei Zhang is going from here, what happens mm-hmm. if they get the rematch, what would happen after that based on the winner. Yeah. Uh, where did both of these fighters fit into the heavyweight rankings now? And you know, where, what do you want to see um, from the other kind of main competitors, Usyk, Fury, AJ? You know, With these guys, do you want to see them fight again, et cetera, et cetera? So yeah, go ahead. First things first, I think for Joe Joyce's sake, I would take the rematch with Zilla Zhang. I would take an instant rematch. I would obviously take some time out, work. Because the thing is, it's like, how can you say it? It's not like he wouldn't have the skills to be able to move out of the way of a shot. Do you understand? Or not leave your head in one place. It's more about game plan. And I think you can work on that within a few months come back, take the rematch and get the victory. I think you need to avenge this like undefeated fighter until this point. You understand? Avenge this 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 defeat. Sorry, not avenge the victory. Avenge the defeat. Come back in, beat him and then, which I think he will in a rematch. I, I believe he would beat him in a rematch. Take the rematch, beat him and then go after that heavyweight title, man. Because there is, there is a heavyweight title shot 
for Joe Joyce, regardless. Brother, when you got man like Zhang saying, I'm going all the way to the top. I'm going all the way to yeah, the yeah. title. I was like, man is in an anime movie right now, bro. Like, man is making me feel yeah, like yeah. he's anime. You know what I'm saying? He's like, oh, we're going straight yeah. to the title. We're going straight to the title, bro. You can't beat Zhile Zhang now, bro. I don't think you can be. I don't think. I think Joe Joyce mentally has been destroyed by Zhile Zhang because Zhile what Zhang he said afterwards. Yeah. yeah, bro. He said afterwards, he's like, he didn't come out of that saying, like, bro, I need a rematch, bro. How can, the, how reaction, can the doc stop me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, like, bro, I could have yeah, gone yeah. on for longer. He was like, nah, bro, look at my eye, bro. Look at my eye, someone else. I and mean, then maybe we'll come back me. to it, bro. <laughs> he's he's going to beat him. A rematch, he'll beat him, yeah. Zhile Zhang, look, firstly, I don't think that they're going to let him get to the top. They're not going to let him get to the top, bro. Bro, you can't stop him. They ain't going to let him fight, bro. Can you ever see him fight for a world title? If he does, I he's would love him, champ. Bro. He's the interim champ. He's he's uh mandatory now for Usyk. He's mandatory for which one? For the WBA belt. WB what is it, man? I think it's WBO. WBO. Oh, let me see, man. Let's... So he's mandatory for one or what? Dubois mandatory for another? Yeah. Interesting. And then I think Hergovich is the other mandatory. Yeah, WBO. Interim. Yeah. So he's WBO. Hergovich is mandatory what, for the IBF? Probably for the IBF, yeah. Oh, man. So there's three different guys there. Three dangerous guys. I don't think Dubois is that dangerous, to be honest. I'm not saying that I'd take him. Well, the thing um, is, is, he's one of those, like, just bruises, isn't it? Like, if he punches yeah. you, you'll stay hit type of thing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But, yeah, yeah. But also, but with him, like, up... you punch him, he'll stay hit as well, apparently. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm. So you don't really know, man. But I, I would love to see... Um, I would love to see... Honestly... Honestly, I would love to see Zhile Zhang uh, become a world champion, man. You know, just like stories. You know what yeah, I mean? Just amazing. stories. It'll be like uh, Andrew just... Reese. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but like this guy, like, bro, like he's been a professional yeah. boxer for like 25 years. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Only now, he's 39, only now, exactly. he's getting the recognition. Like he won a silver medalist. I think he lost to AJ. So, you know, AJ won was the it gold. 2012. Oh, yeah. was it 2012? Yeah, so I no, think... was he heavyweight or super heavyweight? Because AJ won super heavyweight, isn't it? Probably super they heavyweight, then, isn't it? Heavyweight. Look at the size of him, bro. Yeah, of course, man. So, so yeah. So I mean, imagine that, man. Like he had, he was on the same path almost as as AJ. Like in that point yeah. that they're both finalists. Mm-hmm. You know, AJ's gone on to do one thing, and you know he's he's a no one, right? I was calling him an elite journeyman last week, and man is now mandatory for the um mandatory for the mandatory for the for the, the, for the, for the, for the WBO title. You know, against Usyk. So, bro, Usyk. Bro, that's going to be a mad fight. Usyk Southpaw against Southpaw. Tiny Zhe Southpaw. Zhang, bro. Against a huge Southpaw. Ukraine bro, versus China. Southpaw against a small Southpaw. Bro, bro, it's mad. Ukraine versus China, bro. Are we messing around? Look, that's crazy. Think about it. And they'd have to do it in Beijing, innit? Because obviously you can't do it in Ukraine. No, you can't do it in Ukraine. I can do it in Ukraine. I think if Joe Joyce, if Joe Joyce takes a rematch. Imagine Putin comes to the fight. Putin huh? will come to the fight. Putin will come to the fight because he's chilling with China. They're bedrooms anyway. Yeah, they're bedrooms, but they they bought the um the dollar recently as well together. So yeah, obviously he'd come. But yeah, no, he'd back it. He'd back. Uh, actually, no, what well, against Ukraine? Yeah, he'd come with his, yeah, that's his what Russia I'm saying. flag, innit? Yeah, <laughs> but Crazy. anyway, listen, we've only got a minute left. This is closing off mm. now. My thoughts to close things off. I would say, um, it was good to see this fight in the sense of mm-hmm. I like to see a, like a tough fight for between two people. Um, yeah. I do feel bad for Joe Joyce that it was him who has to be that throwback fighter when no one else is being that throwback fighter. But I would love to see more of these types of fights. I would love to see Fury get into the mix with Gilles Zhang. I'd love to see Joe Joyce. You know, mm-hmm. all these fights, Hergovic seems sick. Like, I like Hergovic yeah, yeah. and how he's talking. You know, I just mm-hmm. want to see the fights now. I don't want to see nothing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Likewise, bro. Yeah, go ahead. I think he's going to cut off, man. But yeah, go ahead. Oh, shit. Likewise, man. Um, I'd like to see more of these kind of fights happening as well. It's refreshing to see fighters take risks. You're on an up, upward trajectory. You know, you're, you're going towards a world title. You could take less risks and still get a title opportunity. But no, Joe Joyce, real man, big duck there. Do you know what I mean? Mm. He went up against six foot seven, six foot nine. Yeah, he's got big duck there. I mean, what a way to end the video that would have been eh? describing his tete. Just uh, disclaimer, guys, I haven't actually seen his tete. If you don't know what tete are, um, do your research. I'm not going to be like you know fully describing them to you right now. 
Oh, oh, Ace can tell you. Do you know what I mean? Cojones. Big... Cojones, yeah. Big man, big cojones. Joe Joyce willing to take the risk. Did it pay off this time? No. However, you got to respect the man. He went in, he tried to beat the, the Chinese dragon. It didn't work this time, but I think next time he'll defeat him. I think it's always, you've got to give props to people who are willing to take the risk. Like Ace said before, he's a fighting man. He's willing to go out on his shield. His eyes fully closed. He's still like, no, he's guessing the numbers. At how many fingers? He's like one, two. He's guessing them, got it right. But realistically, he got beaten by the better man on the day. Better man on the day. Straight right, straight left hand. Bop, bop, bop. Straight in his eye. Yeah. Joe Joyce, man. Big, big respect to Joe Joyce. It's, you know, boxing is one of the one of those sports where it's like you can lose and still look better than you did when you went in. And mm. I would say, you know, Joe Joyce definitely... It's a bit of a tricky one because, like, I, I feel like, every, like, not everyone, so many people were happy that he lost because obviously he looked indestructible, right? I'm not, not fans, I mean, boxers, right? So you can imagine the AJs of the world, the Furies of the world, everyone was like, ha, ah, good. You know, we've mm -hmm. seen where the chink is now, you know, in his armor, yeah, yeah, exactly. right? Yeah, we've yeah. seen, we've seen where his weakness is. Um, uh, or at least they've said, we see that there is a weakness where before, Against Joseph Parker, he didn't look like there was any weakness. So, um, so there is that element to it where I'm sure a lot of people said, "Good, you know." But just in terms of like, like you're saying, the 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 cojones, man, the balls on the man to mm -hmm. take this fight. He could have said no, of course he could. Like it's yeah, not like Zhang you know, is a champion and he's looking, or he is a is a mandatory, or no, there's absolutely no benefit <laughs> to taking exactly. this fight. Other yeah. than the fact that people would respect it. But to be fair, I just, I feel bad for Joe Joyce, man. I think it was a terrible decision to put him in there with Zhang. I personally think it was a terrible decision because when you think about it, yeah, like I just as I'm talking, and this is not hindsight, this is just like the logic beforehand, right, of who they're picking. You just say to yourself, right, okay, who will Joe put up a, like have a good performance with? Okay, number one, who mm -hmm. would Joe be likely like it'd be a tough fight but who would he be likely to come through against okay and you know what benefit can we get out of this right so can we get shitloads of money out of it you know so if he so like aj is was in the same position technically as Zhang, right he doesn't hold a belt he's not mandatory for anything mm -hmm. blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know but if you joyce was to take the fight with aj at least you know he's gonna get paid you know what i'm saying isn't it? Big time, guys. next he level life changing paid. that's the biggest payday of his life against aj he's you know like, what i mean yeah, it's different. yeah but he fought against Zhang, which you mm -hmm. know like who the heck is Zhang? like it's not like china has the biggest boxing fan network and you know what i mean like how many of 100%. those fans are going to buy the box of the pay-per-view to watch Zhang? Like, bro, like, yeah. let's be honest, man. Like, very, very few, man. Mm -hmm. So, um, it just doesn't doesn't make sense. It didn't make sense to me in the build-up. And now that he's lost, it definitely doesn't make sense to me because he's lost that air of indestructibility, that air of invincibility mm -hmm. that he he had last week, you know? Yeah, yeah. And like you said about boxers being pissed off by Joe Joyce just sort of walking people down, taking licks and that. Of course they're going to be happy now. Why? Because... Bro, people hate in it. Yeah. That like, especially as a boxer, you know you've been training your whole life to 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 flip in miss shots in it, to miss shots. And you think that, all right, you someone fights you, oh, he ain't gonna be able to take my right hand, he ain't gonna be able to take my left hook. But then you got this guy who's just taking all the licks, walking through and then just knocking everyone out. Do you understand? So this now they're gonna be rejoicing. Oh, bro, okay. They're gonna rejoice that the Joyce <laughs> or his eye. Close, didn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like they, they're gonna be happy about that. But listen, Joe, I don't want you to flip in, be disheartened by it. You got beaten by the man on the night. But if you do take a rematch, I believe you will win. Like, and I respect you to a lot, a very high degree for even taking the fight, for how you performed in the fight. You didn't perform great. However, for how you carried yourself during the fight and after the fight, big respect to you, man. Big respect to you, Joe Drewis. He didn't need to take this fight whatsoever. He didn't need to take this fight. He took a fight. But you know what? It's one of those things where it's like, 
it goes back to that thing where you know the fighters like oh, I'll just do whatever my team tell me to do and you know I listen to the uh, you know my my uh, or let's just say how it is you know he, he would have said uh, you know I listen to Frank and mm-hmm. you know I just think it was a silly decision I, I think it was um it wasn't in Joe Joyce's benefit to take that fight in my opinion and again yeah. it's not hindsight talking it's just it's like for example if they threw Joe Joyce in with Otto Wallen you'd be like Bro, hold on a second mm-hmm. yeah that's a dangerous fighter and yeah. he's not going to bring much money to the table. Like, why yeah. are we going to give somebody... Because, bro, all that's happened now, this is Zhile Zhang's name has gone through the roof. Exactly, yeah. Everyone rates Zhile Zhang now. It's not that we don't rate Joe Joyce. No, I rate him more rate now him than more I did last week. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But I just rate Zhile Zhang more than I did, you know, ever in my life. You know what I mean? And I, yeah, yeah. he's actually one of my favorite fighters just because of... The, just because I celebrated. I was like, yes! <laughs> Chinese power. <laughs> I go straight to the title. I was like, nah, bro, this guy, bro, he's like my hero, oh, man. Sick. <laughs> he's living the life that I would love to live, man. He loves it, bro. I love him. I love Zhile Zhang, man. Yeah. Like, bro, I messaged him as well. I was like, bro, listen, let's do a podcast, man. Obviously, man's an interim champ now, and he's obviously too big for us, but you know, hopefully, yeah, he yeah. sees this and uh, he he graces us with his presence, man. I'd love to, man. I'd love to have um, Zhile Zhang on the podcast and just ask him, like, bro. What the hell were you thinking for the last 25 years, man? Like, you know, mm-hmm. like how what's been going through your head? Like, what you've been doing? Like, you've been trying to get this title shot for so long, and you know, now you're here, and how does it feel? You know what I mean, uh-huh. bro? Like, there's so much. I just want him to be like, yeah, it's for China. I just want him, you know what I mean? I just want oh, him to be like, like yeah, oh, this for the country, bro. Bro, it's mad. Like, their training regime, like, bro, he might have been taken from his childhood. You know how they did with the, the Beijing Olympics, yeah, apparently? Yeah, true, actually. They took all the orphans. And they trained them up to do the mad, like, Beijing Olympic. Yeah, the opening ceremony and shit, innit? He might have been like that. They found him. He was like, he was born. He was already, like, three foot when he was born. Do you know what I mean? They're like, this baby is going to be the heavyweight champion of the world. Let's put him in the Olympic program. Do you know what I mean? Uh... It might, he have a, might have a mad story, but nobody knows. But how are we going to find out? We need to reach out to him, Ace. Chat to him, bro. You're the guy, man. I'll chat to him. I need to uh, do my ways, the ways that I usually do things to get through yeah, to exactly. people. Yeah, yeah. Um, Good, might might need to just drop him uh text like do a Google Translate, drop it in Chinese letters, isn't it? Because um, that'll be the one. Impressive, yeah, just, it? obviously, just he'll see yeah. it. He'll be like, "All right, fair play to the man, isn't it? Respect, isn't it?" Bro, you know what? I can get my boy Dan here, yeah, and he can like dub it. Do you understand? Because obviously, he is of the certain persuasion when it comes to how he looks. My boy Dan, and we could do it like that. We could pretend you're Dan. Like we we'll do some weird kind of like switch. A vocal switch shit like you probably be sick. Trick him. All right. This is why I do those things, Nuggy. All right. Let's leave you to hey, where you are, my friend. Listen, listen. Yeah, haven't you seen fucking what was that film face swap? Mad. Face off, sorry. I love that film face off. Where are we going with this, Nuggy? I don't you know. You need to stay on it? track because the listeners right now are thinking, where the hell is this guy going? Yeah, what's going on? They're listen, turning off. Bro. Okay, All you're right. ruining the stats. Yeah, the oh, data shit. is is not looking good. Guys, right now, I'm okay? sorry. Watch till the end. My I bad. need to, bro. I should have boyed. If I was a lesser man, I would have boyed you off halfway through that sentence to keep the viewers listening, to keep the audience yeah, in. Be, but you know what? I care about you more than I care about these listeners, Nagi. So you oh, shit. talk about what you want to talk about, okay? And you do that shit, bro. I can just edit it out. I love you, subscribers. Anyway, <laughs> guys, if you have enjoyed this episode of the Fight Cast, this was brought to you by myself, Esan Khan, and my co-host, Kurum Nagi, a.k.a. Nagi. Today, for some reason, he's called himself Tabby, but we'll allow that. <laughs> One thing that I just want to make you guys all aware of is that from next week, and Nagi, this is going to be news for you as well, from next week, we are actually going to be live streaming straight onto YouTube. Yeah? That's... Okay. So okay. we're going to be okay. doing uh, so rather than this being a Zoom call and all that type of stuff, this is going to mm. stream live directly onto the Fighter Sport or the Fighter YouTube channel, and okay. it's going to be the same way that you know how Stamina for Sale have it, um, Tundi and and Spencer, where they're both on the screen and they're both talking, yeah. and that's what you thought this was last week. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> now you put it upon I me. Like it is. You huh? put it upon me, innit? When you said to me, oh, is it not that? I was like, nah, bro. I thought, like, bro, oh. I thought we both could be on the screen. I was like, come on, Ace, come on. We've missed a podcaster and that. Do you know what I mean? You ain't even got that set up. But now, obviously, it's going to be there. Well, now you look more presentable, my friend. You're not wearing your banana. Oh, 
Because yeah. I had my banana, my, my rough banana t-shirt, you, you couldn't put your the on the YouTube stream. That's you deep, had a man. sweaty banana, and you were like this for half. <laughs> uh, oh man, uh, AJ, bro. AJ, oh, AJ, shit, bro. What's going on? This. All Come right, listen. On, everyone has officially dead. dropped off from this uh, from this thing they now. Got, it's literally got. just me and you, uh, guys. If there is Maybe anybody off, listening nice. to this. Make sure that you subscribe. Click the subscribe button now. One thing that you should know is that YouTube will put videos in front of you of channels that they know that you like. Even if you haven't subscribed, they'll keep putting the video in front of you for a set period of time. So what that means is that you might be watching these episodes thinking that you are subscribed to us because you enjoy it so much. You listen to every single week. But really and truly, you're not subscribed. So the best way to do that is to check down below. If it says subscribe, it means you're not subscribed. Mm -hmm. So you need to press subscribe to be subscribed. And then the button will say unsubscribe. And if it says unsubscribe, then you are subscribed. Don't click it. Don't click unsubscribe. Nogi, you're going to ruin this, bro, because you just said don't click it after I did a whole speech about clicking <laughs> it. Okay. No, and then you went it. on to say don't it click. says unsubscribe. Don't, don't click Both unsubscribe. Change you, bro. Ring Both the bell. Listen, guys, we're signing out. Fight cost. We're right, out you here. do what Peace. I did just now. You do that ending. Tell them, tell them to subscribe. Okay. So, guys, what we need to do is, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Why? If you subscribe, then it's going to show you all the videos that you need to know. You're going to watch our videos. We're going to get boosted. You're going to get boosted. The bigger we get, the bigger you get. We're a family out here, guys. Watch the bow tie. We shine in Maine.